Hi guys, this is Angela with Hampton Road Tone Staging and Redesign. And I am here to participate in the Get to Know Me tag. And I was tagged by Tulips Freedom. And I'm very excited, you guys. I have never been tagged in anything, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, I don't get a whole lot of uh, YouTube love at all. So this is very much so appreciated. So thank you, Casey with the K. And, um, and she's only one half. So she tagged me. MP is going to do her part as well. But I was tagged by Casey. So I want to say thank you. Um, now, I'm in my car on my lunch break. I was so excited because I watch Tulips Freedom. I watch a lot of, I call them my shows um, when I'm at my desk at work. Depending on what my duty is for the week, I'm able to sit at my desk and just kind of tune in, catch up on my um, my shows, my videos. So, um, I decided, once I saw this today, I said I have to go out to my car on my lunch break today. I said I'll eat later, but go out to my car and um, participate in this tag. Go ahead and record this video because I was just that excited. Um, but anyways, the first question, oh, you got, I'm sorry y'all, there's a black cat. Uh, he's just walking, a Roman, rather I should say. It was weird because I'm, as I'm speaking to you guys or, you know, talking, I just see this object moving. It's a black cat. But I don't, I look at it as good luck. I always have good luck, blessings, I should say, many blessings. Um, but it was just weird to see that. But anyways, okay, back to the tag. First question, are you named after someone? No, I'm not. Um, my name is Angela, as you guys know, like I said in the beginning. Um, but my name is spelled just a little bit different. It's spelled A-N-G-E-L-I-A, -E like Angelia. And I do get called Angelia by a lot of people. I answer to it um, now as an adult because it's, it's kind of cute to me. And then... When I was younger, I didn't like it. I was called Angelia all the time, and I would always correct people. My name is Angela. It's Angela. So, but now I actually kind of like it, especially um, like in the real estate world when I started. A lot of my colleagues called me Angelia, and I said, I like that. It's like uh, I created a brand new person. So, I like that. But anyways, I'm not named after anyone. Almost, but not quite. My middle name is Denise. My mom's name is Patricia. She was going to name me Angela Patrice, but she went with Denise. So, all right, that's number one. I'm going to try to stay on task, y'all, but I like to talk. Um, number two, where are you from? I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I was raised in Tennessee, opposite of Casey. Um, basically, my parents are from down south. My mom was born and raised in Covington, Tennessee. My father in Munford, Tennessee, for those of you, you might know. And Casey, you may have heard of it, M-U-N-F-O-R-D. Um, but uh, they relocated. My parents were teenage parents. They got married. My mom was 16. My dad was 18. They got married really young in the 50s. And um, my mom has relatives in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so they decided to relocate there after my dad. He did a few years of college, and they decided to relocate just for a better life, I should say, or more uh, opportunities, better opportunities. Um, but um, So that's where I was born, but they decided to come on back down south because my dad said those winters in up north are brutal. He said it's just brutal. So they came on back down uh, south and that's where I was raised now I went to high school in this little town called Munford Tennessee and my high school class I think we had 252 people so not a real big town but Memphis is the city and Munford is one of the little surrounding towns but we would go into like Millington or Memphis if we wanted to do shopping and things like that not like grocery store shopping but like going to the mall we didn't have a mall in Munford, we would go to Memphis to do our shopping and, you know, like um, mall shopping and things like that. We go into the city and the city limits. 
So, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm getting off track, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm looking around. I'm talking to you guys, and there are people leaving out for lunch, and they're kind of looking like, who is she talking to? But that's all right. Um, number three, which of your parents are you most alike? Hmm. I'm going to say probably my dad. I'm a Leo. My dad's a Leo. So I noticed that I tend to, a lot of Leos are drawn to one another because we're outgoing, just talkative people. We like to talk. And um, my father is a Leo. So, and, and when I was younger, we didn't get along so much. And now I know why, because we're a lot alike. But, um, and now, you know, can't get enough of each other. That's my dad, you know. I was a... Um, how should I put it? I can't necessarily say a daddy's girl. No, I can't say that. That would be my sister, but my little sister. But um, now we're really close now as adults, and that's typically how it turns out. Later in life, you're closer to your parents because you understand everything they were trying to teach you. Um, but I do have my mother's mannerisms. I have her mannerisms to a T. Um, she's a very classy lady. She raised her girls a certain way and we just you know just watching her she was our model per se but as far as attitude just like my dad um that leo personality i have it i really do uh let's see number four what is your favorite food and just like casey i don't have a favorite food i don't know if y'all can see this double chin this puffy face i might at the end of this video insert some pictures just so you guys can see maybe when the hair was natural and maybe when it wasn't I don't know but just so you can see uh, when I actually had a jawline okay and I didn't have all this going on my face wasn't so puffy but um so that means I, I will eat I'm not gonna say just about anything I am I'm not picky but I'm not one of those people that will just try anything no no i don't like pudding and yogurt and things like that i don't like the texture of those foods but i do like cream cheese it's it's kind of weird but um i really don't have a favorite food per se i'm an eater um i love southern foods beans cornbread things like that i like to eat um but i can tell you i do have a really bad sweet tooth i have to be mindful of that because i will eat sweets I'll get up in the morning eating sweets if I can. I will. Um, if it's there for me, I'm going to eat it. Um, I love Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, I really do. So, I, I guess that's my favorite food. I'm going to say sweets. Um, what's your favorite pastime? My favorite pastime is decorating. I love to decorate. I cannot get enough of it. I'm never bored of it. Um, growing up, I used to babysit for friends, family, and I would even babysit for neighbors, all the neighbors on my street. I had a little babysitting job, and everyone called me, and I'm going to tell you why. I would go to their houses, and I would actually clean up as well as babysit. I, all, I love to see a home just looking at its best. So if I went there and they had dishes in the sink, I'd wash the dishes, I'd vacuum the floor. I did all this along with watching their kids. Don't ask me how, but I just did. Um, I just really enjoyed it. So I was always the one to get those phone calls um, to do the babysitting for everyone on the street. Even my family members, my aunts, they all called me to come babysit. I mean, I just absolutely love it. I love seeing a home at its best state. And you can't see it in its best state if it's not clean. So I would always clean. I used to get paid for cleaning up also when I was, I want to say, 14 years old. One lady I babysat for, not only did I get paid for babysitting, but back then I got paid $4 an hour for cleaning her house as well. So go figure. Um, let's see. Number six, what is your favorite childhood memory? Mm. I should have thought about this one before I started recording because... Y'all, it's sad, but I really don't remember a whole lot of my childhood. I I don't know if that's age catching up with me or what, but I don't remember a whole lot. I do remember 
well, I shouldn't say that. I Well, I do remember this one trip that my family and I took when I was, I want to say I was 10 years old. Um, my, they rented the station wagon, something that you would see in, um, what is that show? Mm, when they were traveling across, going to the, uh, going to the Grand Canyon. I cannot think of the name of that show, you guys, but it was one of those old school station wagons. They rented this thing, okay? And everybody piled up in this car. Now, granted, at that time, it was just, it's five of us kids, but my, and I'm the oldest out of five kids, but my self and my brother, he was seven at the time, and my little sister, I'm wondering if she was even born. Maybe I was younger. I may have been nine because we're nine years apart, and I don't remember her being there. So maybe I was a little younger. Maybe I was nine years old. But anyways, we packed up coming from down south, y'all, in this station wagon. Y'all, let me tell you something. My parents, we, we should have called CPS on them back then. They, My brother and I, we were in the hatchback of the station wagon. We didn't get to ride in the seat. Uh, so it was my mom, dad. I remember at least two of my aunts and someone else. So there, my mom and dad in the front, three people in the second row, and my brother and I, along with some luggage and things like that, in that hatchback part. That was terrible. And we drove for three days to California because my dad's brother, my uncle, was stationed in Pasadena, California in the Army at that time. So we drove out to California to see him and my other aunt and my cousins. We stayed there a couple days. I remember we went to, no, they, my uncle was in Monterey, California, I think. We went to see, my, my grandmother went, that's what it was. We went to see my grandmother's friend. I think she was in Pasadena, California, I believe. And we also went to Los Angeles. I don't remember a whole lot. I really don't. But what I do remember is driving in that station wagon and looking up. My dad said, look, you guys, there was the Hollywood sign. So I've seen that once in my life, but I haven't gone back as an adult. But I do remember seeing that Hollywood sign, and I just thought that was pretty cool. I was like, I've seen that on TV before. I remember being in Pasadena, California, and it was warm, nice and warm, like in the 90s. And you'd look up in the sky, you could see the mountains from my grandmother's friend's house. She had a really nice house. We were in the backyard playing. You could look up and see the mountains in the sky, and you the mountains, um, the top was covered in snow the mountaintop and it was beautiful it was a uh, just like a picture and at that time I remember asking my dad like is that real and he said yeah that's real I couldn't understand it because at that time as a little girl how is it where we are here it's hot right here but that mountaintop has snow on it and it literally looked like it was just maybe down the street but of course knowing now as an adult it was not just down the street um, so that was like really like, wow, you know, that was amazing to me to see the snow on top of the mountains for me in the summer and seeing the Hollywood sign. But that trip so much riding across country in the back of a station wagon and the hatchback. Oh, my gosh. I got to talk to my dad about that <laughs> and my mom. I'm going to ask them if they remember that. So, OK, um, where am I here? Number seven, what is your favorite snack? Like I told you guys, I just like to eat, period. Um, I don't really have a favorite snack. Like I said, sweets. I do like Krispy Kreme donuts. I love cake. And I don't know if this would count as a snack. It's my Coke. I love Cokes. And I've already had one of these today. <sighs> but anyways, um, we're going to count this Coke as a snack. Okay. Um, number eight, what is your favorite sports team? I'm not a big sports fan. However, I can sit and watch sports. I played basketball in high school. Um, I can watch basketball. I can watch football if my mate is watching it. But I don't just watch it just because. But as far as a favorite team, I don't have a favorite basketball team. Um, football, I have to say that I have kind of attached on to the Dallas Cowboys and that's simply because I grew up watching Dallas. My father is a Cowboys fan so it just stuck with me. So, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. 
Um, let's see here. Number nine, do you prefer cats or dogs? And I have to be honest, you guys, I do not prefer either. I'm not a pet person. I grew up being the oldest of five kids. My brother loves dogs, so we always had a dog. My mother loves cats. My sister loves cats. We would have sometimes a dog and a cat. Um, I'm just not a fan of either because I feel like it's a lot of cleanup. And I'm very particular, you guys, about keeping the house clean and just things smelling good. And, you know, I and just and for me, dogs chew on your furniture. They chew on things, you know, when they're little cats scratch up your furniture. Um, I remember one time, this was a horrible memory as a kid, and my mom was very particular about the house as well, but the cat had gotten out somehow, and he had fleas. Yeah, it was a boy, Gizmo was his name. He came back, he had fleas, so I just, nah, I'm not a big fan of either. And then even, um, I know dogs can be really sweet. Um, when I was married, I'm divorced 12, 13 years now. My kids used to have a dog, but my ex-husband, he took care of the pet. He did all of that. I didn't have anything to do with it. Um, and, and that's just because I'm really particular, you know, about that thing. Uh, but, I mean, I know plenty of people that do have them in their houses. You would never know. But for me, if I, I don't prefer either. <laughs> if I had to have a pet, oh... Cats are really sneaky. However, I don't notice much of a smell with the cat. But I don't like them creeping around, you know, and they just pop up out of nowhere. Dogs are really friendly and they're very lovable. I like puppies. I'll put it that way. So I guess it would have to be a dog, but a really small dog, like a, a fuzzy dog. Something with uh, not the long stringy hair, but just a, a cute little puppy so that would have to be my choice I'm gonna go with a cute puppy that doesn't grow um, are you afraid of heights that's number 10 I'm gonna say probably yeah I'm gonna say probably so um, I don't freak out or anything like that but I don't volunteer for anything that's that involves heights. so I'm gonna say yeah I guess so um, number 11 what is the first book you ever read? Um, and just like Casey said, I don't remember. Um, I do love to read, but uh, I don't remember the first book I read. I can tell you guys that I have read um, Junie B. Jones. I do remember those books. When I see the cover, I'm like, oh, yeah. Um, and then also, what is it, Sweet Valley? I did read the Sweet Valley High series. I'm trying to remember if I read the Twins, Sweet Valley Twins, but I do know, excuse me, I read the Sweet Valley High. I do remember those um, from back in the day. And number 12, what is your favorite genre? I'm going to say R&B, hip-hop and R&B. That's it. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Number 13, do you have any tattoos? You guys will be surprised to know I don't have any. Not a one. I was always told that it would hurt. So, I just never, you know. And I thought about it. Um, when my kids were younger, their names are Kendall and Kayla. So, my ex-husband and I were going to get this big letter K and kind of draw their, have their names drawn out beside it. But, we never did do it. Um, and I just haven't had any desire to do so since then. Maybe when I hit 50. Who knows? But, as of right now, I don't have any. Um, what is your best physical feature? Hmm. Can y'all see me? I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to go with my eyes. I'm sorry about this sun, y'all, but I'm going to go with my eyes. I have been told that, well, I'm always complimented on my eyes. My eyes are brown. Um, they're not a deep brown or anything. I can't say necessarily say hazel, but they're a little lighter brown than the normal brown. Um, every now and again, if you catch them just right in a certain type of light, they actually look a tad bit of green, but you have to catch them in just the right lighting for that. Um, so, yeah, and I'm trying to 
give you guys some lighting just so you can even see right now but you can't so yeah um what number 15 what was your favorite subject in school uh i'm ashamed to say this you guys but my favorite subject was boys yep it was I wasn't a dumb child by far in school. You know, I didn't get bad grades or anything, but um, I can't sit here and tell y'all I had a favorite subject because I, I really didn't. I was just interested in who was going to be my boyfriend. I know that sounds horrible, but I mean, I was at that point, you know, as a teenager. But I mean, I was in sports. I was active. I had friends and all that, but I don't know. I was always so... um what's the word just kind of fascinated with okay when you graduate from high school then you have to get married and start your family and all this good stuff I don't know why Lord have mercy because ooh, knowing what I know now mm -mm. nope 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 so um, yeah terrible <laughs> um, I can say now my favorite subject I'm gonna go with English yeah I love to write I love to write, um, I can get a bit wordy, but English, I'm going to say English, I love um, correct punctuation, just using the correct grammar, not to say that I always do, but um, I love a well-spoken person, okay, not someone that's using every big word in the dictionary, but just a well-spoken, well-rounded person, so I'm going to go with English. All right, and number 16, what is your biggest accomplishment? And, um, hmm, this one is kind of difficult for me. I cannot say that, hmm, oh, you know, like most people say, I went to school here, I did this, I did that, and I graduated from here, that, no, I'm not going to say all that, um, my biggest accomplishment, I think, especially now as an adult, is uh, recognizing when I need to make changes within myself because I have definitely grown a lot in my 46 years. Um, I think um, my biggest accomplishment, yeah, it would be recognizing when I need to change or just recognizing it and actually making the necessary changes changes that need to be made being able to just grow mature and grow um knowing when i'm wrong and being able to say i'm sorry being able to apologize with no buts but just apologize and um and accepting responsibility or my role in something if it didn't work or just whatever the case may be just accepting my role in something that maybe it just didn't go right you know whether it be a relationship or just something that was said to hurt someone's feelings um that type of thing and then just that growth altogether in watching my tongue because i can be very direct and it's not meant to hurt anyone but I've learned how to watch my tongue quite a bit over the years. I used to just say anything and not being ugly or anything. I would just say stuff, you know, whatever I saw or came to mind. Like, oh, wow, you wore that today? You know, and not to be ugly, but it was really kind of childlike in a kid-like manner. Like, But um, I've learned to be mindful as I've aged. And just understanding, you know, that some people just don't know or they don't, you know, or maybe they do know and they just don't want to hear certain things. So, yeah, I can say um, that's my biggest accomplishment and I'm still working on it every day. I had one of my supervisors to tell me in one of my, um, what is it, when you're going over your evaluation whatever your eval and she told me she said one thing I can say about you is that you're always growing 
She said, I really like that about you. You're always growing. And I had another supervisor to tell me that I was the most coachable person they'd ever met because I would take whatever they had to say and I would incorporate it immediately into my daily work. So I'm, I've always been that one that's kind of, uh, I like structure, organization. I like things like that. I operate in that way. My brain functions the best in that way. Um, so I think that's my biggest accomplishment is recognizing change when it needs to be made and making it happen, being able to apologize when I need to, um, accepting responsibility for my actions, just whatever, just growing and maturing as a person is my biggest accomplishment. And I plan to continue to do so with the blessings of God. So that's about it, you guys. This I have talked for like 26 minutes thus far. So I want to thank Casey with Tulips Freedom again for tagging me. I appreciate you. You have no idea. I love you guys. I love watching your channel. That's one of my biggest shows. I have a few others, but I love watching you guys. Um, I was drawn to you guys, to your channel. I just happened across it one day on YouTube, and I've been watching you guys ever since. And I've told you, MP reminds me so much of my aunt. Um, she was like a big sister to me. She passed away like a few weeks before her 40th birthday. And um, that was my dad's baby sister. A lot of people would tell me I look a lot like her um, when I didn't have so much weight on. But she just, I was like kind of mesmerized. Like, oh my goodness, she looks like my aunt. And I just couldn't stop watching. But um, you guys are awesome. I love you guys. I really do. Um, now, I have to tag someone. Hmm everybody's you know been tagged for the most part but one person I'm gonna tag because she's so sweet and I told you guys I don't get a lot of support on YouTube I joined YouTube it says back in 2012 but I think it then because my hair was natural and I was just trying to watch um, videos and things like that as far as hair ideas and stuff like that but I didn't start uploading videos until this past year, 2000, November 2016, as far as home decor videos. I didn't even know they were out there like that. So this, I guess I have to, like Casey said, pay my dues. But either way, I'm growing slow, real slow. And this young lady has been a big support to me since I started. You know, she's awesome. And I know she's trying to grow her channel as well. And her name is Tara's local inspiration t-a-r-a-s local inspiration and i'll link her down below so i'm gonna tag her and she you know what i'm what no the tag that she just did or she just did a video um talking about how she got started in photography but so that's different but i will tag her tara she's a beautiful lady she's really sweet she's so sweet tara's local inspiration so you guys check her out I'm going to link her down below as well, as well as Tulips Freedom, so you guys can watch them. Any of you that may be on my channel that have not watched her. And I'm going to go inside so people won't think I'm crazy um, for sitting in the car thinking I'm talking to myself because I'm not. Um, I still have a while on my lunch break, so I may go back inside and grab something to eat. Um, yeah. And then those of you that may be interested in a get healthy challenge let me know I'm thinking about doing that also um, starting actually next week and if you're interested in it just let me know and then um, I'll speak on the details or basically I can tell you now details will be to exercise at least three times a week from Sunday to Sunday it could be me three days back to back doesn't matter at least 30 minutes per day drink 64 ounces of water per day and get rid of one thing that you love to eat, it could be sweets like me, donuts, whatever, just get rid of it for the month. And then February will increase it to maybe 45 minutes three times a week. We'll get rid of something else that you love. And continuing to drink 64 ounces of water per day, or we may increase it. Um, and then what we'll do, like maybe I'll upload a video, say on Sunday evenings, giving you guys my progress. And then you could just comment down below of what your progress is. So just let me know if you guys are interested in that, and we'll go um, from there. But for now, I'm going to go, you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you again, Casey. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go inside and... Find me something they're having a 
little bit of a potluck today so I'm gonna go get something a little bit to eat and drink the rest of my coke and I might edit this go ahead and edit this video right here so I can upload it for you guys all right talk to you guys later bye bye as I mentioned earlier in the video here are some pictures before the weight gain and like I said my hair was natural during this time and you can actually see my jawline I'm showing you guys these pictures because I'm being vain right now and I need to get my crap together. So anyone that wants to join me, just comment down below. We'll get started January 29th, which is Monday through the end of February. You guys have a good evening. Bye-bye.